My name is Cole Aaron. I am 21 years old, and like many kids, I grew up in an abusive household. I was kept home from school more often than not, from kindergarten on, just to hide my bruises. My attendance was so bad I could barely read when I started eighth grade. And the only reason I was even allowed to graduate every year was due to my grandma making large donations to the school. I had one pair of underwear, one pair of pants, my stepbrother's t-shirt. My shoes were held together by duct tape because my mom would throw away all my clothes. If I told anyone about how I was being treated, my sisters would say I was lying to cover for my mom. When a boy is told every day he's useless and doesn't deserve to be alive or to be loved or even have clothes, he believes it. I believed it. I would actually lock myself in the darkness of my room with the lights off and my windows sealed from the light for days at a time, just to pretend I was anywhere else. And by the time I was nine years old, I tried committing suicide, which looking back is an odd concept for a nine-year-old to understand. But by that time, I had already watched my mom try cutting her throat with a kitchen knife. I tried hanging myself in the closet, but the closet was shoddy and it broke under my weight which wasn't much since I was anorexic. I only weighed 85 pounds when I started high school. My mom had convinced me that I didn't deserve to eat and made me feel guilty for even asking for food. And we weren't even poor. My mom was a police officer. She bought my sister's clothes and presents all the time. I just reminded her of my dad, so I bore the wrath of her resentment. Shortly before my mom went to jail for child endangerment, she kicked me out and I went to live with my dad. He introduced me to martial arts, which totally saved me. Every day hitting a bag or wrestling some other kid, I felt like I was fighting the demons my childhood sent after me. And every punch I threw, I was fighting my own afflictions or wrestling my own depression. I was always trying to feel even a splinter of self-worth by how hard I worked. But only in the chaos of combat have I ever felt a moment of clarity or a moment of peace and countless hours of therapy and psychoanalysis and I felt more solace getting punched in the face. The only way I've been able to conquer those feelings of despair and hopelessness ingrained in me is purposefully igniting those emotions again. Just thinking and talking about the emotional scars never helped me. You can only overcome an emotion while it's currently burning you. And it's easy to say I won't get angry or feel rejected next time while we're calm and collected, but our emotions are so much quicker to overtake us. I've read that no real progress is made inside our comfort zones, and I found that to be true which is why I want to be a stranger in a strange land. I want to fight where fighting culture began, where fighting is not just a sport, it's a metaphysical path to self-improvement. I want to be pitted against a man whose skills and experience will far exceed mine. I plan to fight Muay Thai in Thailand and Cambodia in traditional bare knuckle boxing in Myanmar, which allows headbutts. These are the most brutal fighting styles in their respective homelands, where national pride is at stake. I need your help to film this documentary while fighting in Asia, to better myself mentally, physically, and emotionally. I want to share how fighting saved me from my torment, of which only a fraction I have shared at this point. But most importantly, I want this project to inspire other kids from abusive homes, to find a new way to deal with their situation. I will be donating the proceeds from my fight purses to the local orphanages. I want to show people that you can use that pain and suffering to better yourself, to make yourself stronger in every way, to achieve things you didn't think possible, how intentional suffering can actually bring you salvation. Bruce Lee said, if you want to succeed, learn how to fight, to strive, to suffer. We avoid suffering any way we can, but we can have no strength without struggle. So I welcome the struggle. This is my journey.